If you had neighbors move out of your neighborhood recently, well, the California exodus certainly continues. Our state population dropped by half a million people over a two-year period. California, the state known for its sunny weather and diverse landscapes, was shaped in a big way by two incredible water systems. These systems are like giant plumbing networks that stretch for hundreds of miles. The first system supplies water to about 60% of California's population. It's like a lifeline, providing water for millions of people in this massive state. The second system is responsible for watering about half of all the crops in California. So without it, a lot of the delicious fruits, vegetables, and nuts that California is famous for wouldn't grow so well. These systems are a bit like super highways for water. They take water from where it's abundant, like the mountains and rivers, and deliver it to where it's needed, like cities and farms. It's a pretty amazing feat of engineering. As great as these systems are, they're facing some big challenges today. These challenges are putting California in a risky situation. What are these challenges and how important is it? Let's find out. California California is a powerhouse state, and people have diverse opinions about it. It holds the title for the most populous state in the United States, home to approximately 39 million people, which is even more than the entire population of Canada. To put this into perspective, around 13% of all Americans call California their home. California's economy is truly massive, making it the sixth largest in the world. To put that into perspective, it surpasses major countries like the United Kingdom, France, Russia, and India when it comes to economic output. It's not just about the economy. California also plays a vital role in agriculture. It outshines all other U.S. states by producing more agricultural goods than the next two states combined. This means it's a powerhouse when it comes to growing food and contributing to the economy, both in the U.S. and on a global scale. When you enjoy fresh vegetables, nuts, and fruits, there's a good chance they came from California. As Americans depend on the state for a third of their veggies and two-thirds of these delicious and nutritious treats. California's natural climate and geography weren't exactly ideal for the kind of success it enjoys today. The state had to deal with difficulties like frequent droughts and conditions that resembled deserts. On the surface, it didn't seem like the right place for a booming population and a thriving agriculture industry. But California found a way to conquer these challenges through an incredible display of engineering and innovation. California's Water Systems Water has always played a crucial role in shaping both California's economy and its unique culture. In the Golden State, the growth of its economy, agricultural output, and population has made it the number one state in the nation. This growth largely parallels the development of this state's water resources. California gets about 75% of its rain and snow in the northern areas around Sacramento. But here's the catch. A whopping 80% of California's water demand comes from the southern two-thirds of the state. So you can see there's a bit of a geographical challenge here. As people flocked to the inviting climate and fertile land of Southern California during the late 1800s and early 1900s, it quickly became clear that the region's natural water supply just wasn't going to cut it for the surging population. To address this issue, several water projects were initiated to bring water from other areas to Southern California and the Central Valley. These projects played a critical role in ensuring that the region's growth and agriculture could thrive. So, California's history and prosperity have always been closely linked to its stability to manage and distribute water effectively. Central Valley Project Back in the 1930s, the federal government stepped in to address California's water challenges. They initiated a project called the Central Valley Project, or CVP, which was aimed at supporting the dry but fertile Central Valley and the thriving agricultural economy. This project was carried out by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation. What the CVP did was quite remarkable. It involved transporting water all the way from Lake Shasta in the northern part of the state down to Bakersfield in the southern San Joaquin Valley. This massive water transport system was crucial in ensuring that the Central Valley could continue to be a hub of agricultural production despite its arid conditions. State Water Project In the 1960s and 1970s, California undertook a significant project known as the State Water Project, or SWP. This project's primary goal was to provide water to over 27 million people and about 750,000 acres of farmland. The Department of Water Resources DWR, was responsible for planning, constructing, and operating this vast water system. The SWP is quite a remarkable engineering achievement. This system is one of the largest of its kind globally and plays a pivotal role in California's economy. 
The Edmondson pumping plant, located south of the Tehachapi Mountains, has an incredible capability. It pumps water up an astonishing 1,926 feet and over the mountain ridge into Southern California. This makes it the tallest water lift in the entire world. This impressive feat of engineering is a crucial part of ensuring that Southern California has access to water it needs to support its population in agriculture. Colorado River In the 1930s, a significant water project known as the Colorado Aqueduct was constructed to transport water from the Colorado River to Southern California. This aqueduct is managed and operated by the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, or NWD, and serves as the region's main source of drinking water. In simple terms, it's like a massive water highway that brings water from the Colorado River to meet the water needs of the people in Southern California. If you're liking the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Climate Hazards Due to human activities that release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere and contribute to the warming of our planet, the global climate is undergoing changes. While there are ongoing efforts at the local, national, and international levels to reduce this warming, some level of climate change has already taken place. As a result, we're beginning to see certain effects. These impacts are far-reaching and affect people, animals, our man-made infrastructure, and natural resources all around the world, including California. Extreme heat events means more scorching hot days and heat waves, which can be harmful to our health and safety. California is experiencing wildfires that are more intense and destructive, posing a serious threat to both people and the environment. These prolonged periods of very little rainfall are becoming more common, affecting water supply and agriculture. There's a risk of flooding in certain areas due to heavy rainfall, potentially causing damage to homes, businesses, and infrastructure. Rising sea levels are leading to increased coastal flooding and beach erosion, which can harm both communities and natural resources along the coast. While there's still some uncertainty about exactly when and how these climate-related challenges will show up and how severe they will be, the scientific consensus is clear. California will have to deal with these issues in the future. We are already seeing some of these changes happening. For example, in 2021, we experienced record-breaking temperatures, wildfires, heavy rainfalls, and droughts throughout this state. So it's not a question of if these changes will occur, but when, and we need to be prepared to address them. California is a state of incredible contrast and remarkable achievements. It's overcome its challenging climate and geography with astounding feats of engineering, creating a water transport system that supports both its booming population and its agricultural dominance. This success story comes with its own set of challenges, including climate change, extreme weather events, and increasing water demands. California's economic and agricultural significance on both national and global scales is undeniable but the state's future depends on its ability to adapt to the changing climate and ensure the well-being of its residents and the sustainability of its resources. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.